Did you really think you could just pass me on to the next girl? Next girl. Next girl. It's not over between me and you yet, and not by a long shot. What is this? I found it on my first day here in the closet. I think it belonged to Tiffany's old roommate. What happened to your old roommate? I didn't like her, so I kicked her out. It's about how to survive Calm Lake with challenges. Like joining the scavenger hunt? Why is everyone laughing? Well, if a girl joins the winning scavenger hunt, she has to give everybody on the team a kiss. What? Why would someone write this? I don't know. It's so confusing. I just wish we could find out who it is. It's you. It can't be. Why didn't you tell me? If someone tells you about Heather, you become Heather. The girl who goes home. Everyone gets a Heather book when they first come. Tiffany did it to me, and you'll have to do it to the next new girl. This is Lucy Quinn, our new student. But you got through it. It's over. <gasps> now, are you in or are you out? Welcome back, Crown Lake students. I hope you got everything you asked for this holiday season. A big pile of gifts, and enough R&R to get you through the next semester. Because surviving at Crown Lake is not going to be easy. Strings all choked with rust. Can't play that sweet song anymore. Haunted by a memory. And the unwritten rules and secrets of these halls could fill volumes. Lucky for you, my advice is the best present you'll get. Everything you need to make it at Crown Lake is within these pages. So follow my rules, be loyal, and you and I will get along just fine. After all, the most coveted gift of all is to survive your first year. I should know. I didn't. Good luck. Young people, file in quietly. Thank you. Everything on track? Yeah, just great. Silent, quiet. Miss Poreca, your hat. <laughs> Ladies decorum, I have some announcements. First, everyone will be meeting with our guidance counselor. Miss Rose, to see how things are going here at Ground Lake and to make sure you all fit with the milieu. Next, we have a new student this semester. Everyone, please welcome Miss Lucy Quinn. She's from Connecticut, and I'm sure you will all make her feel at home. Hey, welcome. Oh, thanks. Hey, how were your holidays? Fine, thank you. So we're not gonna talk about this? There's nothing to talk about. I just thought you were my real friend. Millie, I'm sorry. Again. I couldn't tell you the truth about Heather. You know that. Why? You get in trouble? She'd find you? She's not even real. I have to go. <laughs> How'd it get up there? I guess your friends wanted to see if my backpack could fly. They're not my friends.
Is there anything fun around here? Or is everyone always this uptight? I mean, I came last semester, so I'm maybe not the best person to ask. So you're still learning the ropes around here too, huh? You could say that. I mean, Crown Lake isn't that hard to figure out. Says the guy who's had Crown Lake alums in his family for the last six generations. <laughs> Ryan. Oh, Nick. What's the dating situation here? Well, dating is allowed, but she's spoken for. Ryan here is with the most popular girl in school. <laughs> you late for surgery or something? Nah. Though I've been known to provide some cures now and then. Midterms can be stressful. Sometimes you need an extra boost. Know what I mean? Almost. Almost. Yes. Thank you. What can I say? I've got mad rake skills. Mm. I like your haircut, by the way. Suits you. Thanks. Hey, can I sit with you at dinner tonight? I promise I will not make you fish anything else out of the tree. It is so simple, always. It feels just Hi. Right. Hey. Uh, long time no see. Yeah. How was your break? Um, fine. Just call my dad at the coffee shop. You? I, uh, I went to Michigan. And I don't know if you heard, but I got back together with Tiffany, officially. Oh. No, I, I hadn't heard. Um, congratulations. Thanks. Well, I'll, um, see you around. Yeah, I'll see you around. A good Crown Lake girl follows the alwayses and the nevers. Has she stepped out of line yet? Not that I've noticed. Always wear knee socks. Ankle socks are for grandmas. They're a tad short, but okay. Never speak to Meriwether unless spoken to. Here comes Meriwether. <laughs> Looks like everything's copacetic. By the way, Tiffany, I love the new earrings. <laughs> Aren't they gorgeous? They're a present from Ryan. I picked them out, obviously, but he paid for them. What's going on? So far, everything's on track with Lucy, but you better be ready to up your game. These cards should get you started. Go with the top one first. I don't want to do this. It's for her own good. She has to learn how to survive here. Go. That's right. Once you've shown you can play by the rules, it's time to pay your respects to the fallen girls of Crown Lake. Desserts on me. Sweet. <laughs> Although, are you sure this stuff isn't poisoned? I've never actually seen anybody eat it. It's the best food here. Everybody bans it because they're all lemmings who share a common brain. Mmm, tell me how you really feel. Oh my god. That's perfection. Right? Don't cry for better days. Is this seat free? Uh, yeah, sure, Nelly. I hope there isn't too much homework yet. Just nerves. This place isn't exactly what I expected. I know. That's how I felt when I came here last semester. Don't think. Only last semester? How'd you get over it so fast? Well, I'm not sure I really have yet, but just trying to think of the positives, because it makes the negatives feel as negative. It's louder than I would have thought it come on. So don't cry for better days. So don't cry for better days.
Is that the famous Tiffany St. Martin? One minute. Nick? What are you doing here? Thought you'd be a little happier to see me. Dad or Romeo have boys. I don't... How long's it been? One year? Two? Welcome. Or whatever. <laughs> hey, what's that? He's cute. Is he new? He's nobody. I mean, <laughs> I already vetted him. Loserville Central. Long ago, a Crown Lake girl named Charlotte Wellington passed away and is buried in this very cemetery. Go tonight, find her grave, knock three times on Charlotte's grave, and wait until she knocks back. If you leave before you hear the knocks, you'll be kicked out of Crown Lake and Charlotte's ghost will haunt you. Forever. Why'd you guys call me here? Down. We're doing the old Charlotte Wellington trick on the new girl. I remember you almost fainted when you had to do it. Don't you want to watch the new girl flail? Wait, you're in on this? Of course she is. You know the rules. How could you be mad at me for being Heather when you're doing the same thing? Chloe, if you're going to be a downer, please go. No, she's right. You guys are on your own for this. I'm gonna remember this. Friendship is a gift, and you shouldn't look a gift horse in the mouth. I might bite. Heather? Oh, no, no. Next time on Crown Lake. There's a hierarchy at Crown Lake, but just because you're royalty today doesn't mean you own the crown. One misstep and everything you've built can come tumbling down. What are we gonna do? We find a way to get rid of her. Together.